If you look at a very simplistic way of looking at an indicator, so let's look at the ingredients of what constitute some of the best indicators and, and at a very simple level. You have a support and you have a resistance. Number one, you want to assume that those support and resistance are good. And we have some of the best support and resistance that we have tested over the past 12 years, especially our institutionals and majors, okay? The miners are, it's not that they are bad, they are just good for day trading. They, are, they, they have no relevance for swing trading or long-term investing. So the big question boils down, you are here, the tap is coming here, 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 and you are here, and you wonder, question mark, are we going up? Are we going down? What's the probability of going up? What's the probability of going down? And what is the current trend, right? The current trend which we refer for day trading for the short term trend. And then within this, what is the overview, right? of the long term, the, the big picture from above, like if you fly in an airplane view, what do you see from above? And when you're here in the middle, it's like it is a very hard trend. You have a 50-50. So what is the immediate trend? The immediate trend is up and the long term trend is up. Any pullback actually is going to be a buy and push you towards the resistance. That's the higher probability. If you are here, and now you have one of our purple down, you are down on the long term, you are down on the short term, guess what? Every retracement back up to edges of the calculator or to some minor resistance will be short. And this is nuances that you need to know. It's what's the probability of going up and down between support and resistance? What's the current trend? What's the probability? And in a nutshell, that's what the power indicator responds to. Yeah. Here, I know at all time, right? So we look at this example on, on Meta. This was a downtrend, right? That came here from the high percentage close to the 100%, right? Lower high, your low, lower low. And then we break the institutions at 250 and it came over. Red dash institutional to red dash institutional, right? Same on the rebound, you're right towards the institutional. That starts being the reverse trade, retest the trend line, maybe we'll come back and pull back one more time within the next few months. And then it's going to be again a fantastic long, right? So the whole time I know, but the thing that I don't want is put a lot of size if I have a short term trend down, a long term trend down, because that indicates that the 141, the, the, the trend line might reject back there, right? And so you know that that was a great trade for 50%, but you know you have to proceed with caution because the trend box has not changed. So now let's look at today's trades, for instance. So this is my real time. Set up. Can everybody see that? Give me a quick yes, no. And I'm going to show you some of the trades from for, for, for today. Okay. So if you look here at the, can you guys see the stuff? Give me a quick yes, no, so that I know I'm on, on path. Everyone in the room. And then we are going to, to think what are some of the best settings with the indicator, everyone? All right. So let's get going. So my background, as some of you may or may not know, I used to work for, I started my career when I was 21, 22 years old as a prop firm trader. Prop firm institutions are where you do uh, a split. You know, you make uh, 60, 80% of your profit, you give the, from 40 to 20%. These days they call that funded accounts, funded traders. And then I moved to a small hedge fund called JP Capital and I used to work for Andover Trading. And for most of my life, okay, I have been a trader, discretionary trader, just like you, 
you know, using my own money and helping institutions and retail traders and financial advisor and CMAs, you know, creating tools and analysis that helps them on a daily basis. Okay. What I specialize in in trading too is the ES, SPY, SPX. This is what I'm known for. But the tools works for everything and the logic works for everything. Okay. So if you look at my current screen, I have uh, just so that you understand a little bit the way I look at the market, I have a one minute chart with the NASDAQ futures. I have a five minute with the SPY futures, the e mini, and I have a four hour chart so I can see my box properly here on the SPY. Am I at the top of the box? Am I at the bottom of the box like this morning? And then how do we play probabilities within the box, right? And then I have an eye on the SPX. By the way, the box is always there. See, those are the edges. If you look at the box, those are trading view indicators that helps you for trend. It's very unique. It does not exist in the world. So when I tell you it does not exist in the world, it does not exist in the world. We have an attorney on staff, Steve Stewart, Stephen Stewart, that works with us as a patent attorney, a trademark attorney, a design attorney. We have a patent design everywhere in the world. We have actually been awarded already the international patent. Wait for the US patent, right? This is very, very unique to real-time probabilities like this, right? It does not exist. The this design it does not exist. The intellectual property behind the calculations is unique, everybody, right? It is years and years and years and years and years of doing, right? And testing with real money and real accounts. Now, yeah? So now you have the answer of everything we spoke about, right? You have, okay, let's look at the VIX this morning. You have the trend on the VIX this morning, going up, going up, blue cloud to the resistance on the edges. And you come at the top and you are over 66% to 100% chance that we are going to reject the VIX. We are going to reject the VIX here. What happened? If the fear starts going down, we have less fear in the market than we have greed coming, which means the futures are going to push up, right? So as we approach the top of the VIX here on the edge here, I know the futures are about to come back. Another secret weapon that we have is made by a net seller, which is our polar power volume indicator that works only for futures. The ES, SPS, SPX, and SPY trade, I use that for, <laughs> for over 12 years now. And it's extremely powerful. See, I have also support and resistance within the indicator, the net by on net seller, the power volume indicator. And that's pretty much how I use my tools. So you can use, see this morning, we are making a little bit of a higher low here as we are making new low in price here. And those are powerful divergence coming towards the edge here on the future on the uh, NASDAQ. We came here to the edge here on the SPY on the four hour. And I am at the top of the edge on the VIX. All those synergies together, as you can see with the edge of the bottom of the box right there on SPX, provide fantastic long trade, fantastic long trade, okay? And, and, and this is how you increase your probability of, of win ratio versus your loss ratio and helps you also uh, um, trade your sizes. Do you, do you scale in, do you scale out? If you start the day here at 50% right there, are you going to stop? You know, you have an equal space between there and there. You don't really have an edge. This is where your power train come in place because you come this morning, look here at the long-term trend on the ES, up. So we are looking for longs on pullback on the four, from the four hour support here from the SPY, same here. So even though the short term was down, all it did was a short term trend down to buy the four hour support box. And by the way, that four hour support box, so that you can see, is the same four hour power box that we had since December the 18 or 19. Look, see, it's a four hour charts, the same box. So when you come towards that 391 SPY, 
you know that the buyers are going to start coming. You know that 391, 395 is a very key complex support that is coming here and here. Now, you know that with the relationship of everything else and the synergy that I show you. So over time, those are the type of synergies that I want you to master everybody. 